What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Toy Friendly Unboxed where we feature the hottest toys in the market today. Before anything else, please support our group, the Toy Unboxing Family. Please watch all the channels that are included in our group. Uh, explore the content. I'm pretty sure you'll love every second of it. And uh, right now, all right, we're going to be unboxing something new, something brand new it came into our store. This is the huge, gigantic McFarlane Toys gold label, Armored Dark Side. This is from the recently released uh, Justice League Snyder Cut movie. So without any further ado, let's do this. Hello guys, thank you again for joining us and this is the front of the box McFarlane Toys So you can see it's a gold label collection of the dark side This is the window Armored version of dark side, they released the regular version uh, a couple of months ago And uh, this is a special mega figure version as you can see the logo of JL Justice League 2021 Snyder Cut so this is what he looks like and unfortunately we never really got to see Dark Side Battle with Justice League maybe in the future who knows if they reinstate the Snyder verse the this is the back of the box logo for the toys upper right corner and um, picture of uh, dark side looming in the barren wasteland I think it's part of the promotional material for the movie these are the other of course figures that you have to get for of course members of the Justice League and we let's flip it with the other side and again let's open this up and let's see how he stacks up so out of the box and into our desk here, as always, every McFarlane toy, especially DC characters, figures, have this exclusive um, trading card. And the picture is similar to that at the back of the box, Dark Side Armored version. And uh, you see a menacing dark side uh, in the barren wasteland we get a profiler at the back real name is Upsas. okay that's very interesting all right that's the card we get to have this itty bitty stand or base hmm uh, they could have uh, made larger base for him since uh, it's a mega figure, but uh, well, what can you do? Standard DC base here. And we have, of course, the man of the hour, dark side in his armored form, very nice detail. And he has this huge badass staff for a weapon. Take him out and let's put him in his base. Let's see how we can pose him. This monster is huge. Look at that. It's huge. Um, 
if I could guess probably close to 9 inches it's not really that heavy but he's definitely I believe the biggest McFarlane toy that we've ever reviewed in our show and let's take a look at this figure closely look at the detail of the armor now the armor is not um, metallic it's more of a rubbery matte composition let's take a look at the face look at that a face only a mother could love but you know it's um, as with all other McFarlane toys very faithful to the source material this really looks like dark side from the Snyder Cut movie of course you could see observe that uh, it's filled with tons of articulation but let's uh, observe first the details associated with the armor very very nice look at that the lines are are all complete even with this uh, lower garb it's soft and rubbery but it, you know it's not something could fall off easily very nice I guess you have to be careful with, with the joints, but it's very nicely done. The boots, the shoes. Can't stand on its own, even without the base. Check out the articulation. You can spin the head all around, that's good, right? Yeah. Tons of articulation on this one, very nice. Very good for posability. And the texture of the skin is spot on with what Dark Side is in the movie. That grayish stone like feature. Now if, if I could nitpick, I noticed some of paint blemishes on this particular figure that I have, but uh, well, you can't, uh, can't avoid that. Those are production issues, but overall, this is. An awesome figure. So you, you do need the, the base so that you'd be able to balance himself while standing. Let's take a look at the prop or the accessory that he has, a lone accessory which is this um, staff, the alien staff that he has. Very nice. The detail is great. It looks great. The texture, the the paint job. Overall, you can't complain because he does really look like Dark Side from the movie. And like I said a while ago, unfortunately, we never really got to see them fight. We only got a glimpse of Dark Side in that movie, but. Fingers crossed, we may see a fight uh, between Darkseid's minions and Darkseid himself with uh, against Justice League. So let's put in the base and let's try to pose him accurately. And here we have him on his base. Look at that. Huge, huge character, huge figure. Awesome looking dark side here. This is from, again, the Justice League movie, the Snyder Cut. Let's 
Snyder Cut to be exact and uh, he's holding his staff and uh, this is the Armored Dark Side Gold Label Collection from McFarlane Toys it's about 9 inches tall details are spectacular the stony texture of his body and his, his skin well captured by the McFarlane toy staff let's put the uh, dark father figure side by side with him look at that dark father became a midget compared to that figure look at that So that's really really cool again this is dark side gold label collection from McFarlane toys we still have some stocks if you're interested please give us a message and uh, we'll try to hook you up And there you have it guys, this is the McFarlane Toys Dark Side Armored version, a gold label collection for McFarlane Toys and uh, it's now available in your leading toy store, especially in our store which is www.facebook.com slash toy friendly. Please make sure to visit our store every day, you can find lots of new stuff and pre-orders and lots of fun stuff. And also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please hit that notification bell for announcements on future unboxing episodes. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next unboxing episode.